Frisco. Maybe Sidney Crosby's birthday, but it's his fans who got the gift today. A chance to see their hometown hero hoist the Stanley Cup in the place he was born. By one estimate, close to 80,000 people lined the streets and swarmed Coal Harbor Place to share in Sydney's success. Good evening. It was a day hockey fans around here waited for, and they were not disappointed. It was carefully organized, well planned, and by every measure, a big success. CTV's Jacqueline Foster kicks off our coverage. This was how Sidney Crosby made his entrance. He arrived at the Halifax dockyard on a Sea King helicopter landing on HMCS Preserver, the Stanley Cup, by his side. Crosby says he's always dreamed of winning the Cup. Today, he was able to share it with thousands of family, friends and fans. You know, it's almost like a dream, you know, you don't even, you don't even think it's real. You're, I never would have thought it would be in a helicopter, uh, you know, getting ready to land on a Navy ship and share it with uh, you know, all the servicemen. After a brief private meet and greet on the Navy ship, Crosby made his way down to the thousands of excited fans. He really showed that he's not only a hockey player, he's a great ambassador to the country. Uh, he's an outstanding individual. I think that's uh, what we're more, more proud of uh, here in Nova Scotia. He was presented with two commander's coins, took pictures and signed autographs with military and civilian families, and took time to cut his birthday cake. The fact that you've chosen to share this day with the men and women of the Canadian Forces, your community, your home provinces, is a tribute to your class, your commitment to the game of hockey. Crosby and the Cup then got into a light armored vehicle, making their way out of the dockyard. But I mean, it's perfect. Boy. There's no words to describe it. Did you think that too? It was amazing. It was amazing. On his way to the IWK Health Centre, Crosby made a surprise stop at Citadel Hill, where he fired the noonday gun. Oh, it was really, really exciting, and I mean, it was a bit of a surprise, so uh, most of the visitors who were here were here to see the site, and then all of a sudden, here's Sidney Crosby, so I mean, everybody was so excited. He arrived at the IWK just before 12.30. Crosby spent close to an hour and a half inside the hospital visiting children. His family asked that it be a private event. From there, it was off to the parade in his hometown of Coal Harbor. Thousands of people lined the streets to catch a glimpse of their hockey hero. It was so crowded, many others had to wait in line at nearby bus stops because the parade site was too congested for buses to get to. It's okay, it's okay. We still got a few more hours over there. Uh, well, what can you do, you know? At least, you know, at least we'll have a chance to see him. The parade ended at Coal Harbor Place, where Crosby played most of his minor hockey as a youngster. The 22-year-old took time to encourage others who share the same dream of winning the Stanley Cup. And uh, I just want to let you know I did the same thing. And, uh, you know, the proof is right here that you can do it. So, you know, go for it. Just another way Sidney Crosby is giving back as he celebrates his birthday and the Cup. Jacqueline Foster, CTV News, Cold Harbor, Nova Scotia. And you know, the festivities continued this evening, of course, with another special treat for Crosby fans. Crosby and some pals, friends he's played hockey with since he was five, got together for a little street hockey at a local uh, tennis court. This is just like he did when Sid the Kid really was a kid. Friends remember Sidney and the gang used to pretend they were hoisting the cup after particularly difficult games. So tonight, they got to live that childhood dream with the real cup. As you might expect, the day was more than a little overwhelming for young Sidney. We sometimes forget he's only 22 years old. Tonight, in a special news conference with the throngs of reporters who covered the event, Crosby got a little nostalgic about what it was like to celebrate in his hometown. Even just going through Coal Harbor, I was, um, you know, thinking about all the times I'd kind of run, you know, through that area, or all the times, you know, I'd get up early and drive through there to go to the rink. I mean, those are all things that really kind of came back to me as we were on the parade route and seeing all the signs and everything, I mean, that's, you know, 
you, know, you can't really measure that as far as how much it means to you and, and to see that support and to make it you know feel that much that much worth it. Crosby stressed how important it was for him to make the whole community feel like they're part of his success. The evening ended with a big concert. We'll show you some of that later in the broadcast.